I'm Stephan Holt and this is News for Now for Monday, January 28th. First up, we'll talk about the forecast. It's going to stay clear and cold tonight. We've got lows in the upper 20s. Tomorrow it'll be messy. We've got a mix of snow and rain that's moving in in the evening time. Now to the news and a 53 year old woman is recovering after being trapped inside of a Manhattan elevator for the entire weekend. Firefighters rescued a housekeeper from a luxury townhouse on East 65th Street and Madison Avenue this morning. She's in stable condition at the hospital. Now the Department of Buildings trying to figure out what went wrong. People inside the townhome wouldn't answer when our crews knocked on the door earlier today. It was a blockbuster day in the trial for Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, and it started with an actor who played him in a Netflix series making a cameo. Narcos Mexico star Alejandro Eda showed up in the packed courtroom where Guzman is fighting drug trafficking charges. You may remember jurors heard testimony earlier in the trial about how El Chapo wanted to make a movie about his life. The accused kingpin reportedly cracked a smile when someone pointed out the star. Having him that close, it, it shooks me. It, it's, I, I'm intimidated by it. Prosecutors rested their case after three months of testimony. Guzman's legal team will present their defense starting tomorrow. That El Chapo will not take the stand. A New Jersey restaurant is firing back at two customers who left behind an offensive message on their receipt. The owner of the Under the Moon Cafe in Bordentown posted this photo on Facebook. Santiago Rosco says the couple came in Thursday night and wrote, don't tip immigrants on the back of their bill. They paid in cash, so he doesn't know their identities. Orozco thinks they may have heard their server, who is an American, speaking Spanish to a co-worker at the Argentinian restaurant. Hate, bigotry, homophobia, discrimination, whatever it is, has no home here in that restaurant. Some incredible video here showing the moment an armored truck flips over and crushes a BMW convertible. It happened this morning in the St. Albans section of Queens. The guards were briefly trapped inside the truck, but you can see one of them eventually flipping open a door. Police believe the armored truck ran a stop sign. Fortunately, no one was seriously hurt. And finally, the cyclist accused of attacking a Lyft driver has been arrested. Police say that's Emilio Carpane caught on camera last week hopping on top of the car. They say the 25 year old smashed the car's window with a bike lock and then hit the driver with it. He's facing assault charges. That's all for news for now. Keep on watching for a full report on that elevator incident on the Upper East Side. I'm Stefan Holt. Thanks for checking in. That's my biggest nightmare. Neighbors disturbed by the news, a 53 year old woman trapped in an elevator inside this $20 million townhouse for three days. Unfortunately, it happened. Luckily, the woman survived. Surveillance video picked up the fire engine arriving to rescue the woman. Thomas Gardner heard the sirens. And now I find out that this poor woman experienced, you know, a very tra traumatic uh, period. In that elevator. Investment banker Warren Stevens owns the home. He released a statement saying the woman has been a valued member of the Stevens extended family for 18 years. A Stevens family member accompanied her to the hospital this morning and remains at her side. The cause of this unfortunate incident is being investigated and appropriate measures will be taken to ensure that something like this never happens again. Building inspector Devon Simmons came to check the elevator, asked if the lift had a phone. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll find out when I get in.